Welcome to the video on recommendations, where we will talk about the use of recommendations and guide you through their setup in the app. Bloomreach Engagement's recommendations leverage all customer and catalog data to find the most suitable items for each individual customer in a given situation. There are many types of recommendations you can deploy. For instance, when a customer visits your website, our recommendation engines can show each customer only products that they like based on the information you hold about them in the app, such as individual interests of your customers or their previous purchases. You can also deploy such recommendations in emails so your customers receive emails with personalized recommendations that fit their individual needs. There are many possible use cases and it is up to you to decide which serves the needs of your customers most. Let's see how to set up a recommendation. Go to Campaigns, Recommendations, and Create New. We offer many recommendation templates which you can start with. These templates are either role-based, which means they use simple statistical methods to calculate the recommendations, or you can choose a model computed by artificial intelligence, which uses more complex algorithms. You can create a recommendation from scratch in the advanced option. Find detailed descriptions and the purpose of all recommendation models in the documentation. Let's now set up a simple rule-based recommendations model. The first thing to select in every template is the catalog items which you want to display in the recommendations. You can also specify conditions for recommending the products within the catalog, such as to allow only such recommendations of products which are above a certain level of stock. Then, you select the event which the recommendation engines are going to track and use to calculate the recommendations. It depends on the type of recommendation model. Next, you set the length of the learning window to define the time range which the recommendation engine will use to calculate the recommendations. For instance, they can base the recommendation on the events from the last 90 days. The optional settings are common basically to all the models. You can define the blacklist to so the products you do not want to show your customers, for example, the products they have already seen from your last campaign. Lastly, you can personalize the recommendations more by reordering the recommendations by the individual customer preference, for example, to show products made by a preferred brand of the customer. Now, let's save the recommendation and test how it looks. You can also view the recommendations for different customers. In the next tab, you can find the snippet to your website where you want to display the recommendations. After you deploy the recommendations here, you can evaluate their performance here. And that is all on recommendations. We highly recommend going through our rich documentation on recommendations to guide your deep understanding of this feature. Mm -hmm.